Hey guys, Coach Robert Gray with Victory Performance back here with our uh, shoulder, at home shoulder warm up. Um, so we'll start out in half kneeling. Okay, those of you that are members at the gym know this position very well. Half kneeling for us is specific, it's heel under knee and then a straight line through the uh, down leg side. So just so you can see that here, it's a straight line from shoulder, hip, and knee. Okay. Before I do anything, I'm gonna set my, my brace or my tensioning by squeezing my downside glute, pulling my belly button in, and then interlocking my fingers behind my head, okay? I'm gonna to rotate towards my, my front leg as I exhale, hold for a count, and then inhale back to the middle. Okay, so a couple more. Okay, so we'll go eight on one side, switch legs, and then eight on the other side. Okay, again, the duration of the, of the um, set on each leg, I'm keeping that tension in my core, right? In my abs and in my glutes. Okay, so again, exhale. Okay, so we've got eight on each side there. From there, we're gonna go to uh, tall kneeling, okay, which would be both knees down, and we're gonna do a drill called a halo. Now I'm gonna use my adjustable dumb, dumbbell here, which is roughly 20 pounds. Uh, this drill doesn't need to be terribly heavy, so you guys could use a lot of different objects around the house. A full carton of milk would work uh, perfect here. So I'm gonna hold the, the dumbbell in front of my chest to start. I'm squeezing both sides of my glutes now because both knees are down, my abs are tight, okay? And from here, I'm slowly rotating that kettlebell around my upper body, okay, while doing my best to limit excessive motion in my torso or anywhere else. Okay, as that weight goes behind your head, try to let it drop down low, okay, maintaining tension in your abs and tension in your glutes, okay? For this drill, there and back is one, and we're gonna do 10 reps. Once you've completed your 10 for the, uh, with the halo, we'll go back to half kneeling. Okay, again, remembering this is a specific position. Okay, heel under knee, straight line on the down leg side. From here, we're gonna do a drill called swimmers. We do these a lot laying on, a, on our stomach. For this drill, we're gonna do it in, in half kneeling, like I said. We're gonna have one arm up overhead and one arm down by my side, okay? I'll start by reaching back behind my body, holding for a count, straightening my arms, and then slowly switching sides. Okay, remembering to belly, belly breathe during the, the entire set. So, reaching on each side will be one rep. We'll do five with our right knee down. Okay, and then we'll do five with our left knee down. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see what it looks like uh, with your arms behind your body. Okay, as we go to bend our arms, okay, we're gonna exhale, and we're gonna avoid touching our, our torso at all with our hands. Okay, so we don't wanna be up into our body here. We wanna have a bit of space between our hand, our arm, and our torso. Okay, so five on each side there. And then the last drill of this series is gonna be a high plank circuit. So a high plank for us is in a push-up position. We're gonna go shoulder tap, shoulder tap, uh, T-stab, T-stab, and then side, uh, um, toe touch, toe touch. So feet wide. Okay, wider than a normal plank. Okay, first thing we're doing, bring the hand up, hold for a count, switch sides, hold for a count. T-stab, we're pivoting onto the side of our feet, hold for a count, switch sides, hold for a count, and then we'll finish with a toe touch. Okay, one more time through.
All right, guys, so once you've gone through those exercises one time, you've completed your shoulder series.